Apocalypse. I'm VM viewing the Magi. This is about the presidential live, and he's gonna speak on the point of part two. Yeah, peace and blessing. Yeah, I just wanted to, you know, can just continue on as far as you know, understanding as far as the mind state, you know, of of how you know the leaders of this world, you know, and how how they think and how they're influenced. You know, you know earlier. And the last one I was talking about how, you know, on the 5th, as far as of January of this year, you know, that's when the 30th president, Calvin Coolidge, when he had returned to his ancestors, you know, 76 years earlier, you know, there, there, there's hidden wisdom as far as in numbers, and there's hidden wisdom in mathematics, and there's really hidden wisdom and understanding that we have within ourselves. Right. And just like as far as, you know, if you, you, you look at this tree, you know, this tree is, is old. I mean, that tree is not, you know, 36 years old like me. It's not, you know, 60, 70, 80 years old, you know, like, like maybe your grandfather. I mean, that tree is old. And it took time as far as for it to grow. And it's just like as far as, you know, with us as people, there's wisdom and information that we read that goes into our brain and, you know, we eat it. But it takes time as far as for us to grow and understand that. So that's why as far as we're understanding, when you get into to wisdom and knowledge, whatever your field of study, don't abort that process. Because see, a woman can easily get pregnant, but then she can easily abort that and she won't never give birth to a child. It's the same thing as far as for wisdom and knowledge. You, you can start the process and it's going to be painful maybe at first, but if you keep going through that process, eventually you're going to be born. Right. Something is going to be made. It's called it's, it's the purification process because what's going on right now is that you know, everybody's coming back as far as into their own. You know, I know myself. I haven't been you know really as warning people like my brother Apocalypse and you know and, and one of his queens, you know Vita, but because the warning ha has been put out there. It's 2009. Right now that you know the gate is really about to be shut, and that's the sign as far as you know with the 44th president. You know, most people think, you know, it's going to be a change as far as a new beginning to where it's, you know, oh, now things are going to be right. Actually, it's a closing of this world in their ways. And he's the sign of that. There's going to be a new beginning. But are you going to be part of that new beginning? Because that new beginning, it starts with renewal of the mind. And how can you accept you know, this new beginning, what's about to take place, you know, in what many call, you know, the fourth dimension. Some call it... Age of the Aquarius. Is, is, exactly. And I'll how, speak on that one. Exactly. How are you going to understand that if you don't understand the world that you came up out of? See, Aquarius, that, that deals with water. And see, and, and water, you know, that's the basis of life. Right. So you got to understand the process, you know, of what this world was built on and it's ending in order to actually get to the next. It's called phases, it's called levels. It's like as far as a child, a child can't, you may be a teenager, but you have to go through a stage to become a teenager. So, you know, what's going on? We, we're gonna put together lessons, we're gonna put together videos, we're gonna put together documentaries, and, you know, and to help people understand exactly how vital this time frame that we're living in. Because it's peace right now. You look up into the sky right now. Hit a bird. Yeah, there's hardly anything. There's no clouds in sight. But see, but what's coming in the future? It's just like as far as for right now, as far as with America. Everything's calm as far as for right now. But, you know, unfortunately and fortunately, I don't know which one, but Arm Blige Muhammad said the, the worst is yet to come. That's right. You know, I say fortunate because that means the end is here. The wicked, they got to go. But unfortunate because there's many of y'all who you, you're going to be unprepared. And y'all who listen, a lot of y'all may be prepared. But there's going to be people that aren't prepared, and we need to warn those people. Playing around. That's why it says the scripture. I forgot how Farrakhan used to put it about the watchman. Mm -hmm. let, me, let me put you on real quick, my brother, and see what, you, what your little input, what you want to put in, my brother. My thing is this, that we in spiritualism right now. They, they always talk about in Palm uh, 20, I think it's 91, talk about principalities of darkness. Mm -hmm. Right now, we got darkness in high places in our federal government and all local governments that's looking on how to uh, extinguish and exterminate the people. So we got to wake up. We got to start tapping into our higher consciousness. I mean, because right now, the gods and the goddess, 
have the powers to do it. Right now, we're going through a shift. The other three, four months ago, Jupiter was lined up with Mars and Venus. It was all in the sky, right over my mm -hmm, house. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So the shift of cons consciousness is really pulling in on these other planets and grid. So that frequency makes the energy stronger. And it's working off of consciousness, the collective. People got to start getting in tune with that. Eating right, thinking right, because now all this gravitational things is pulling. And that's why I said in my, my next verse, my next video, about who is the X-Men? Who do they really describe as these superheroes? What, what's the meaning behind superheroes? Why is always put in Hollywood as an image? Today is Easter. I'm seeing people going crazy over a man they never seen yet. All on down the street, 50 churches on one street, you know, and his hair is like Lance Wolf and bronze skin. But mm -hmm. it trips me out how I go down the street and how all of them treating each other like crap, right? Getting out of church, pulling out of church, and people wearing cars, new suits, taking pictures, going crazy, acting like they in love just for one day. And that's all they know. That's all they want to know. And it's, it's a shame that the Christian mindset has went that. But the Christianity is on this phase up out of here. Mm -hmm. They said on the 700 Club that Christianity. It's getting old. People want something new. They want something different. Mm -hmm. See, the religious is about to fall. All religious institutions are about to die out. Mm -hmm. Because it's a new awakening happening. And that's why the Pope came out today and said today, he said, well, poverty and war, war can stop if we stop poverty and finances and people being, like, not having. So he already know. Ben, Mr. Benedict already know that ones like me are getting ready in the gears. And mm -hmm. we ready. The Billy Burger, the Committee 300, the Illuminati, the, uh, the Illuminati families, the Rockefellers, you better be on your run. Because ones like me, when all this technology fall mm -hmm. and Ezekiel's will pop up in the sky with them baby flying saucers, it's all over. Because ones like me coming for you, coming for you. Yeah. Peace out. Peace.